Hello, sports and tabletop sports fan. This is Tribe Fan coming to you once coming to you once again. Uh, this time I'm coming to you with a different project. As many of you know, I have started the 1971 replay of all of Vita Blue starts. Now Vita Blue won the Cy Young in 1971, and so I figured I might as well get his starts uh, and do that for a, a short little project. All right, we'll get started with game one, which was opening day of 1971 at RFK Stadium against the Washington Senators. Uh, it pitted Blue against Dick Bosman, and at the top of the third, the A's get on the board when Dick Green hits a one-out triple, and then Vita Blue follows with an RBI single to make it one nothing A's. Uh, in the top of the fifth, Dave Duncan hit a leadoff double, and then Dick Green follows with a single to put runners on first and third. Uh, Blue did not drive in his second run of the game. He struck out after that. But then uh, Duncan scores on a Burt Campanaris fielder's choice to make it 2-0. And then after uh, Campanaris steals second, Felipe Alou uh, singles home Campanaris to make it 3-0. And that would be all of your scoring. Uh, the win goes to Blue. He went the distance, giving up four hits, uh, not giving up a run, three walks and five strikeouts. Bosman did not pitch terribly himself. He went eight and a third, giving up nine hits, three runs, no walks, and four strikeouts. All right, start number two was against the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Jim Rooker started for them in Oakland, and trouble started very early for Blue, as in the top of the first. Uh, the little general, Freddie Patek, led off with a triple, and he scored on a wild pitch to make it one nothing. Uh, Cookie Rojas followed with a walk. He goes to third on an Amos Otis double, put runners on second and third. And then Lou Pinella hits a deep fly ball to make it 2-0 on a set for a sacrifice fly. Uh, the A's would not score until the bottom half of the seventh. Uh, Ken Wright was pitching. Uh, Campanaris uh, with a one-out single. He goes to third on a two-base error by Pinella. Uh, Joe Rudy followed up with a sacrifice fly to make it 2-1 to one Royals. However, the Royals come right back in the bottom half. Uh, Amos Otis and Lou Pinella off of Jim Panther with doubles make it 3-1. to one. And then uh, Dennis Pepke singled home a run to make it 4-1, to one, and Panther was done for. Uh, Klimkowski would finish off the top of the eighth. However, the A's fought until the end. However, it was unfortunately too little too late. In the ninth, uh, leadoff home run by Campanaris off of Ted Abernathy. Make it 4-2 to two after Joe Rudy struck out. Uh, Reggie Jackson singles, and he moves to second on a Don Mincher ground out. Uh, Sal Bando and Rick Monday singled to bring Jackson home to make it 4-3. to three. However, the last out was made when Dennis Pepke makes a nice running catch off of Dave Duncan to seal the victory for the Royals 4-3. to three. Uh, Blue was your loser. He gave up, he went seven innings, five hits, two runs, three walks, and seven strikeouts, facing 29 batters. Uh, Rooker went six innings for the win, giving up three hits, no runs, six walks, and three strikeouts. Hmm. All right, so start number three was at Milwaukee, and uh, Jim Parsons went for the Brewers. Uh, the bottom of the first, uh, the Brewers got the blue early. Uh, single by Ted Kubiak, a Jerry May dribbler in front of the plate, and then Duncan throws it down the right field line. So we'll call it single and an error, puts runners on second and third, and then Joe Costco with an RBI ground out makes it one nothing Brewers. Uh, the A's would come back in the top of the third. Sal Bando reaches on a fielder's choice with two outs. And then Rick Monday hits the ball over the right center field wall to make it 2-1 to one A's. And at the top of the seventh, the scoring actually would not end. Uh, Joe Rudy with a one-out single. He goes to second on a Reggie Jackson ground out. And then Don Mincher with an RBI single makes it 3-1. to one. And then uh, on the top of the ninth with a different pitcher, uh, Blue let off with a walk. Campanaris with uh, singles blue to third, and then Joe Rudy singles home blue to make it four to one. Uh, Jackson walks to load the bases. Mincher struck out afterwards, but Sal Bando with an RBI single to make it five one. And then Rick Monday puts the bow on this game for the A's. Uh, 
two out, uh, clutch two and single makes it two to uh, seven to one. Sorry, uh, Luke Krause had to come in to get the last two outs, but then it was uh, too much. Uh, Blue finishes the ninth uh, for an easy, I want to say easy seven to one win. He goes the distance, giving up two hits, walking four, and striking out five. And then Pars Jim Parsons gets the loss. Game four would, was at Comiskey Park, where the A's faced the Chicago White Sox, and Tommy John pitching for the White Sox. And the A's get out in the top of the second. Don Mincher with a leadoff single went to second on a pass ball, and the third on a two out single by Gene Tennis, and then Dick Green. Uh, singles home a run to make it one nothing. In the bottom of the th third, uh, Andrews with a one out double for for the White Sox, and then back to back walks lo load to bases, and then Rich McKinney with a uh, sacrifice fly makes it one to one to one tie. Uh, the A's would go back ahead in the top of the fifth. Uh, Green with a leadoff walk, and then Vita Blue with a perfectly placed bunt beats it out. Put runners on first and second. And then Reginald Martinez Jackson hits the ball over the right field wall. And we have a 4-1 to game. Uh, Rick Monday also gets in on the home run party. He hits a solo home run in the top of the sixth to make it 5-1. to uh, In the top of the seventh, uh, singles, back-to-back -back singles by Rudy and uh, Jackson make uh, put runners on first and second. The fielder's choice by Bando puts runners on first and third. And then Felix Mangual uh, singles home Rudy to make it 6-1. to one. And then Gene, uh, Gene Tennis singles home Bando to make it 7-1. to one. And that's your final. Uh, Blue went seven innings, giving up five hits, one run, walked nine, and struck out seven. Uh, John went six innings, giving up five runs for, in the loss. All right, and move on, moving on to game number five, we go to Angel Stadium, where the A's faced the Angels, and Andy Messersmith took the mound for the Angels. And the A's get out in the top of the first, a one-out walk to Joe Rudy. He went to third on a Reggie Jackson single. Uh, Don Mincher walked to load the bases, and then Sal Bando singles home Rudy to make one nothing and load the bases. And then Rick uh, Monday, once again, playing getting a nice power surge in the early going hits the ball and broke out the rye bread in the mayo. Cause it's grand salami time five, nothing. And Messer Smith was quote unquote, not having it that day. However, he did get through five. So we'll, we'll kind of give him a little bit of a break. He did recover nicely uh, on the top of the sixth, the Brennan different pitcher went up double by Mincher uh, Bando reaches on a Sandy Alomar senior uh, error, put runners on first and third. And then Rick Monday says, I'm not happy with four RBIs. I want more. I uh, drove home his fifth run of the day with an RBI single to make it six, nothing. Uh, Dave Duncan hit a sacrifice fly to add the PAT. I mean, make it seven, nothing. Uh, the A's would allow, or the A's would get two more in the seventh. Uh, Rudy would had another RBI in, in that inning, making it six on the day. I think that's a career high for me for rolling for somebody for uh, Stratomatic. And then the Angels avoid the shutout in the bottom of the ninth when Tony Conigliero hits a home run off of Blue, and it, made, and it was a 9-1 to one final. Uh, Blue goes the distance, giving up three hits, one run, uh, three walks, and eight strikeouts. Messer Smith went five, uh, giving up three hits, five runs, three walks, and four strikeouts. And game six would be at Oakland versus Pat Dobson and the Orioles and what would end up being at the end of the season a preview of the ALCS. Uh, this game was scoreless, I'm sure, as you could probably guess, with uh, as good of pitchers as they were until the top of the fifth when Don Buford hit a one-out single uh, he went to second on a Mark Belanger uh, ground out, and then Merv Rettman smacks the ball through the hole and scores Buford, make it 1-0. Uh, Dobson got in a little bit of trouble in the sixth. Uh, Jackson led off with a double, and then Mincher followed up with a walk. However, two pop-ups to the catcher and then a strikeout to end the inning pretty much ended all doubt for the A's for any scoring as Dobson was just too good. 
Uh, the Orioles added two runs in the top of the seventh. Andy Echebaron with a leadoff single. Uh, Dobson laid down a bunt to get uh, Echebaron to second, the sacrifice. Uh, two batters later, Belanger singles Echebaron to third. And then back-to-back walks by Merv Rettenmund and Frank Robinson. And Fra- Frank Robinson walked with the bases loaded, so that makes it 2-0. And that would be all for Vita Blue. He got replaced in the seventh. On the top of the eighth, back to uh, two doubles by Brooks Robinson and Andy Echebaron make it three nothing. Uh, the top of the ninth, the uh, A's tried to put together a rally. Uh, one out walk by Jackson. Uh, Mincher singles to put runners on first and second. Uh, Bando walked to load the bases, and that was the end for Dobson. He didn't quite get out. Then Eddie Watt comes in to close out the game. Monday hit into a fielder's choice to make it 3-1. to one. However, Dave Duncan grounded out to end the game. Final score, Orioles 3, A's 1. Uh, Dobson gets the win going 8 in the third, giving up 5 hits, 1 run, 2 walks, and 5 strikeouts. Blue once again was very wild. 6 and 2 thirds, 4 hits, 2 runs, 8 walks, and 7 strikeouts. And then Eddie White gets the final 2 outs to, for a... Uh, two-thirds of an inning save. And now we go to the final start in the month of April uh, at home against Steve Hargan and the Indians. Uh, top of the seconds, the, Uni- the Indians would draw first blood. Uh, Ken Hawk Harrelson with a leadoff single. He goes to third on a Chuck Hinton single. And he scores on a Ken Suarez single to make it one nothing. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Nettles hit a ball to the warning track. Uh, for the first out, and then Blue settled down and got two ground outs to end the inning. Uh, in the bottom of the second, uh, the long ball comes into play and will be a recurring theme for the day. Uh, one out double by Sal Bando, and then Dave Duncan hits the ball down the line, and it is fair for a two-run homer, two-to-one A's. Uh, it would return in the third inning as well. Uh, Larry Brown with a one-out single, and with two outs, uh, Jackson hit a cue shot back to the pitcher. He hurried the throw and went down the, the right field line. They called it a single and an error to put runners on second and third. And then Don Mincher hits the ball over the right field wall, and it's a three-run homer to make it 5-1. to one. And in the bottom of the fifth, uh, Blue let off with a double, and he goes to third on a Larry Brown single. Uh, he scores when Reggie Jackson beats out a grounder to make it 6-1. to one. And then at the top of the ninth, Blue almost finishes the game. Uh, he walks Ken Suarez with one out. Uh, Nettles, followed, Nettles followed with a two-run homer to make it 6-3. to three. And then when Roy Foster doubled pinch hitting for in the ninth, they went to Bob Walker just to be safe. And he got the final out for a save. Uh, Blue gets the win. He now is five and two on the year. Uh, went eight and two thirds, six hits, three runs, three walks, four strikeouts. Uh, Hargan went five innings, eight hits. He gave up six, but only three were earned. No walks and two strikeouts. And then Locker gets the final out save. All right, I think I'm the update schedule for this is pretty much. I'm just going to go by months. So there will be. Uh, six updates. The next one will be for when he finishes his May starts. I think that's about enough. Just once a month, there'll probably be six or seven games per update. All right. Well, next project is up and running, and hopefully this will be as much fun as my other projects. And may your dice be lively and your rolls be good. Have a good day, everybody.